Yechezkeel, Ezekiel 9. He cried also in my ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause them that have charge over the city to draw near, even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate, which lies toward the north, and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand. And one man among them was clothed with linen, with a wind, with a writer's inkhorn by his side. And they went in and stood beside the brazen altar. And the glory of the Elohim of Yashadael was gone up from the Karuv, whereupon he was to the threshold of the house. And he called to the man clothed with linen, which had the writer's inkhorn by his side. And Yahuwah said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Yerushalayim, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city, and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And begin at my sanctuary. And then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. And he said unto them, Defile eth the house, and fill eth the courts with the slain. Go ye forth. And they went forth and slew in the city. And it came to pass, while they were slaying them, and I was left, that I fell upon my face, and cried, and said, Ah, Hadanai Yahuwah, will you destroy eth all the remnant of Yashadael in your pouring out of eth your fury upon Yerushalayim? Then said he unto me, The iniquity of the house of Yashadael and Yahuda is exceeding great, and the land is full of blood, and the city full of perverseness. For they say, Yahuwah has forsaken at the earth, and Yahuwah sees not. And as for me also, my eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense their way upon their head. And behold, the man clothed with linen, which had the inkhorn by his side, reported the matter, saying, I have done as you have commanded me.